happy Monday. As promised, I am going to start trying to film weekly and get a video up for you guys every weekend. Um, just uh, depending on what I'm doing that week, what goals I'm setting or anything new I find interesting that I think you guys would like to watch throughout the week. Um, another thing I learned is in my last video I was filming vertically and it was cutting my head off even though I could see all of myself in the you know view in the camera obviously it was not showing all of that so I'm filming sideways today and we will see how that works out for us also the Sun it's early in the morning I'm getting ready to go into work I only work one day at my away from home job this week um, so I'm sitting in the car and there's bright sunlight coming in from my left so I apologize for the lighting but whatever anyway I wanted to share with you um, what I brought for lunch today because it is something that I have never tried before and I kind of just wanted to share it um, I have used the lasagna noodles not this brand before but I ordered from Amazon a six-pack of this Palmini um, hearts of palm linguine noodles now this is just straight up hearts of palm I think it's cabbage palm um, so no starches or anything it's just pure veggies um, it's got two net carbs for a third of this can so you could eat the whole entire can for you know six net carbs it's four total carbs and two fiber um, it says you should drain and rinse and heat and then add sauce of choice um, it says to boil here but I'm I'm taking it to work so obviously I'm not gonna boil it so I'll let you know if that makes any difference but I also have a little bit of the Raoul's um, arabata which is like a spicy marinara in the bottom of a container so I'll just add the noodles to that and microwave it a few minutes and have like a keto pasta marinara for lunch today I also have these quest sour cream and cheddar protein chips um, I've had these they're awesome that's why I ordered a whole case um, they have four net carbs for the whole bag and 21 grams of protein and four and a half fat which is awesome it's basically like a protein shake but in a savory chip form so if you are keto and you have chip cravings this is your guy right here um, I also have some electrolytes I've just got the great value brand little drink sticks I've got one of those in my water and then I have also got for my little dessert after lunch a slim fast keto fat bomb they taste a lot like a Reese's peanut butter cup they're pricey they are ten dollars for a box of these but um, they do have decent ingredients they have MCT oil real cocoa butter real chocolate um, no nasty sucralose stevia sweetened um, so yeah I mean they're good for something convenience wise I mean of course making your own would probably be a better bet but you know if you're just in a hurry and want something quick and easy that's your bet anyway I have to go into work now but I will try to if a bunch of people aren't around in the break room I will try to film my lunch and give you a review of the Palmini linguine noodles so I will see you guys later and I hope you have a fabulous week all right guys this is the hearts of palm linguine and they actually look and taste and feel just like regular pasta so I'm super impressed with this one. Hey guys, good morning, happy Monday. First of all, I want to apologize for not uploading for a couple weeks. Basically, two weeks ago, almost the entire week, my daughter's school was canceled due to weather and we just kind of stayed home snowed in and didn't do anything fun or interesting to film. So I spared you guys of that boredom <laughs> and then last week I started back to work after um, kind of dropping my schedule down to only one day a week and then um, my work asked me to come back more often so I was kind of getting back into the flow of things last week a very busy week grab and go no you know real crazy recipes or anything fun like that to film so I'm starting again today and I'm going to film as much as I can um, I am basically just going to be sticking to keto sticking to my macros trying to eliminate as much processed keto junk food as possible and prep as much of my own meals as possible um, I have packed my lunch today so really quickly before I run into work I wanted to share with you guys what I brought today first of all I brought egg loaf muffins um, I've got three of them left because my daughter and I kind of went to town on them last night 
And I also brought, I have a little bit of my maple vanilla chalk zero syrup left. I like to put a little dot in the middle and eat them like that. Um, so kind of like a little protein and sweet treat in one. I'm not gonna open it, but in this double tide, I have got some Palmini Hearts of Palm Linguini noodles. Um, they only have two net carbs a serving with a little bit of Raul's spicy arabata marinara sauce. I also have, I don't know if I'll eat all this, but it's better to be prepared. I have got some Too Good Dan and Light and Fit um, three gram of carb mixed berry yogurt, as well as a Barney's chocolate almond butter cup. Like I said, don't know if I'll eat it all, but at least I'll be prepared if I get hungry. I will check in with you guys later. I gotta run into work now. Bye. Hey guys, so it is um, after work now. I um, just got home with my daughter from school and I am going to start some dinner. Um, and what I'm going to make is a Keto Instant Pot Mississippi Pot Roast tonight. Um, so um, I'll show you the easy ingredients. Um, basically, we have just got here um, some pepperoncinis, some Kerrygold butter, um, a Chuck Pot Roast, and some ranch seasoning. Um, so basically, yeah, I'm going to throw a little bit of oil in the instant pot on the saute function. I am going to season up the pot roast with the ranch seasoning, cut it into two or three larger pieces, and just sear all the sides of it. Then I'm going to throw in a few pads of butter, a little beef broth, um, and then the pepperoncinis and their juice, and maybe like a garlic clove or something, and just let it go to town until it's shreddable. Um, usually I will cook something an hour or more if it's a big roast like this just because I don't want it to be tough in certain places I want it to easily just pull apart so I will let you know um, how it goes or maybe even film some of the steps okay okay I'm back I just seared the roast I cut it into a few um, just smaller pieces so I could work with it easier in the instant pot and I decided to just sear it seasoned with salt and pepper instead of the ranch seasoning just because I didn't know if maybe it would acquire like a burnt or weird taste. So I wanted to add the ranch when I add the rest of the ingredients. Um, I'm also going to add, I have done three quarter cups water and dissolved a beef bouillon cube in it and heated it up in the microwave. Um, and then I am going to add, um, like I told you before, the pepperoncinis and the ranch, but I'm also going to add a little bit of soy sauce i know a lot of people think soy sauce is not keto but it doesn't have any carbs so i'm not worried about it but you could also use um liquid aminos or coconut aminos if you're like strict keto i'm not so i'm using it um i've got a little bit of chives left so i figured i'd throw those in i've got some garlic and onion powder just because i think they make everything taste better the worcestershire and um some carry gold um Usually people throw a whole stick of butter in their Mississippi pot roast, but it's like a five pound roast. Mine is only like two and a half pounds, so I am only probably going to use maybe, I don't know, a quarter cup of butter, like four tablespoons or something. Um, I'll show you before I put the lid down here in a second. So I threw the roast back in the Instant Pot. I put in all of the ingredients I just showed you, the broth, the pepperoncinis with their juice, and I did pull the little stems off the top as I was throwing them in just so that nobody gets them stuck in their teeth or whatever. Um, then I threw in, I decided to get crazy with it and throw in six pads of butter instead of four. Um, and then I had like two tablespoons of Hidden Valley Ranch seasoning left in the bottle, so I just added all of it with the garlic onion powder and a little extra salt and pepper and oh and a tablespoon of soy and a teaspoon of Worcestershire and I will write this recipe in the description box because I don't expect anybody to remember all of this but I'm about to slam the lid down on this baby on high pressure I am going to let this sucker go like 90 minutes and then hopefully it'll be shreddable we will see you on the flip hey guys, side I'm back um the Pot roast is still in the Instant Pot cooking away. It's still got about an hour to go, but I thought when I was thinking about what I'm gonna serve this with, I really wanted like a nice loaf of keto bread. Haven't made it for a while. I like to keep a loaf in the fridge. Um, 
makes a really good quick meal with like some lunch meat or almond butter or you know like with a meal like this that's kind of hearty it would be nice um so i'm making a simple almond flour bread recipe that i have tried before and i really like so i will um link it in the description box and i will also kind of just show you how i do it in this little bowl i have some almond flour 200 grams i have a half teaspoon of xanthan gum which is my favorite keto thickener in place of I don't know, like cornstarch and things like that since we're not using regular flour. Um, there's also um, a half teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of baking powder. And then in this bowl, I have seven eggs that I have brought to room temperature by soaking um, the eggs before they were cracked, obviously, in um, some warm water for three minutes, which brings them to room temp. This will make your bread less eggy, believe it or not. So if you've made keto bread before and it was eggy, um, if you started with cold eggs, that could be to blame. So I'm going to get out my hand mixer and I'm going to whip the crap out of these for like a full couple of minutes until they get really light and whippy and that will help with my bread texture so that it's not so dense. Um, and then I'm also going to, um, that is um, 100 grams of grass-fed butter and 30 grams of coconut oil that I have melted, but... Um, I don't want it to be too hot because I don't want it, when I drizzle it into the whipped eggs, I don't want it to be hot because that will also make an eggier bread. So little tips like this will be in the link for the bread that I am posting. But basically then I'm going to combine the flour and the egg mixture and throw it into a parchment lined uh, loaf pan and bake it. So I will get back to you so on I've that So I just one. whipped the seven eggs with my hand mixer on high for two full minutes. And you can see it's super light and fluffy and it's got a lot more volume to it um, that's really going to help the texture of my bread um, not be so dense and then next i'm going to slowly drizzle in the melted but not hot butter and coconut oil um, duo that i just showed you um, then i'm going to just kind of continue blending until it's all whipped up together and then i'm going to slowly start adding the almond flour mixture in until it gets nice and thick and then i'll load it up in the pan and bake it so here is my finished um, bread dough poured into a parchment lined loaf pan. I'm gonna pop it in the oven at 355 for 45 minutes and I'll show you what it looks like when it's okay. done. Okay, I just pulled my keto bread out of the oven and look at this. It's like puffy and just golden brown and looks absolutely beautiful. So I'm gonna let it cool and then I can't wait to slice into it. And I've still got 12 minutes left on the Mississippi pot roast. Thinking about making some cauliflower mash and yeah, I'll show and you. Then I decided to make some mashed cauliflower too. I'm really going for it tonight with the whole comfort food theme. So in the blender, I have a whole bag of, it's like four servings of green giant riced cauliflower that I've cooked in the microwave for six minutes thrown in a few tablespoons of butter, a few tablespoons of heavy whipping cream, and some salt. I'm gonna blitz it up and have some cauliflower mash. This is the shredded beef. Um, there's still some of it in the pot, lots of yummy juice, but it was just falling apart. It's like butter, and it tastes so good. The ranch and the butter and the pepperoncinis, it is awesome. Hey guys, happy Sunday. Um, I've just got caught up in work and been eating leftovers and haven't like, cooked or done anything super special to film but I am going to um, prep some tofu and I'm gonna do it like PF Chang's lettuce wrap style um, so I wanted to share that with you um, I found out a new technique for prepping tofu which I'm kind of excited about what I'm going to do is I'm going to drain it and then I'm going to cut it in half lengthwise microwave two minutes drain it again and then pop it in the freezer for one to two hours and then you'll take it out of the freezer and use it in your recipe so I wanted to see how this stacked up because um, some people have a texture issue with tofu I personally like it but I'm just curious to see if I can make it better so I will share the process with you and add this to this week's video also I found this tofu and I didn't even realize that some kinds of tofu have zero net carbs so if you're keto and looking to go more plant-based or not a huge meat fan and looking for plant-based sources of protein and you're not clean keto and don't care about adding soy products this house foods extra firm tofu has two total carbs but two fiber so that's zero net carbs for this stuff so that's pretty awesome I didn't realize that was a thing 
Um, and then also, um, I'm getting ready to get in a cardio and ab workout while my tofu is freezing. And I'm using this as my pre-workout. It is my absolute favorite flavor at the moment. It is called Heart Tart. And it's kind of a Valentine's Day type flavor, but you can you can get it other times too. And it tastes like strawberry sweet tart. And it's so yummy and gives you the best energy and the best workout of your life. Like better endurance and strength. I can lift heavier. I can go longer with my HIIT training. And I just feel like I get better results when I use this as opposed to the stimulant packed junky pre-workouts that I used to take. So love that for that. If you are looking for an awesome clean pre-workout, I will leave the link in the description box below. I drained it in a colander, kind of pressed it down a little bit to get as much moisture out as possible. I've cut it lengthwise and put it in a container and I'm gonna pop this in the freezer uncovered for one to two hours and then take it out, drain off any liquid and use it for my lettuce wraps. I will check back with you after that and I'm gonna get in my work. So on a completely unrelated note, I made my favorite fat bomb-ish type keto recipe. This is pecan pie keto fudge. And I will also link the recipe for this down below. It is absolutely my favorite keto dessert ever. Um, it's so good. So I'll share that with Guys, you below. It's currently after my workout and I have pulled the tofu out of the freezer, cubed it up and put it into a container and then mixed up in a separate bowl, four tablespoons of brown swerve. It's awesome, it tastes just like brown sugar. If you like brown sugar or have recipes that need brown sugar, I ordered this on Amazon and it's phenomenal. It tastes just like the real deal. Um, also added a few tablespoons of soy sauce. You could substitute liquid aminos or coconut aminos if you are strict um, keto and don't do anything with soy. I really don't mind it, I'm not strict keto. Um, and then I also added a teaspoon of rice vinegar. You could probably use any vinegar you have on hand though. I'm gonna pop a lid on this and um, I shook it up really well. So it coated everything and you can let it sit from an hour to overnight. I'll just let it sit an hour and then make it. So I will let you know how it comes out. Hey guys, happy Monday. It is now the next day and I decided to hold off on making the tofu last night because it had to marinate. I didn't even realize that after you froze it um, that it was um, to be marinated for at least an hour, preferably overnight. So I ate a quick post-workout snack of some yogurt and nut butter and berries and um, just decided to hold off and make the tofu for dinner tonight. So I will show you it looks like this right now. It has been soaking in a brown swerve soy sauce, rice vinegar um, marinade overnight. And now I'm going to follow through with the cooking. Right, guys, and I just cooked up all of the tofu, um, made the quick sauce. I'll link the recipe below and drizzled that over the top and spooned it into some butter lettuce leaves. And that's it. Tofu, PF Chang's um, lettuce wrap appetizer recipe keto style. Hey guys, it is now, ooh, look at that hair, Wednesday, and I am throwing together some dinner and I'm going to make some taco soup, which is super easy, super yummy, and I wanted to share that recipe with you as well. So here okay, we go. I know this is sizzling loud, but the first step is just browning a pound of ground beef with a half cup of onions and two cloves of fresh chopped garlic. I'm gonna brown that um, and then I will show you the next step. step was to add all of the seasonings. So I added generous amounts of cumin, chili powder, tagine chili lime seasoning, some coriander, some chipotle, some taco seasoning, garlic and onion powder. And then I'm letting the spices cook down for a couple minutes and then I'm going to add the rest of the ingredients. The next step is I added an entire eight ounce block of original cream cheese. Um, not the light or low fat or whipped or anything like that. And I pinched it off into little pieces and now I am kind of just smashing it around with my spoon. I'll spend a couple minutes doing this and mixing it really well until there are no little yellow or excuse me, little white lumps in it and it's dissolved and melted into the and My last step was I added a it was actually two 14 ounce cans of broth, which if you're making your own broth or bouillon, it's about three and a half cups, along with two cans of diced tomatoes, the 10 ounce cans with Rotel. 
which if you don't have that like me, I just used 20 ounces of canned tomatoes and I chopped up about a half of a jalapeno in it. But if you don't like spice, you can leave that out. And then you're gonna let this simmer for about 10 minutes and then it's done. And you can top it with any kind of taco kind of toppings you like, like shredded cheddar or sour cream or cilantro or black olives or anything else you would like. I'll show you what Okay, and one ingredient I forgot, um, which I just added in, is a half a cup of heavy whipping cream. And then also you will just add any extra salt if you want. You can like taste a little bit and see. Um, I added a little bit more salt to mine and now you're just kind of letting it simmer for like 10 minutes and then we will be done and I'll show you. This is the finished product with the keto taco soup. Um, it's really great for even people that aren't keto to be honest. Um, I just scooped it out, topped it with some white cheddar, some avocado, some cilantro, some sour cream, and a final sprinkling of the tagine chili lime seasoning. And it looks fabulous and I did try a bite of the soup and it's flavorful and delicious and perfect and I can't wait to eat it. Mm -hmm.